Hey guys, JB Coins here. We're at our coin show, uh, local coin show, and we are going to go in, see what treasures we can find, and uh, we will share them with you. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification button, so when we post up a video like this, you'll see what we found, uh, and you'll get notified if we go live stream. So, uh, see you in a bit. Okay guys, here's the haul from the coin show. Uh, we wound up spending um, several hours on Saturday and got a bunch of stuff and then we wound up going back on Sunday. The show was kind of thin on Saturday. When we went there Sunday, it was a ghost town. So the dealers were willing to make deals. I'm gonna show you a couple things as, as we go through here, what I mean by that. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have my sweetie with because she's gorgeous and you know you got a beautiful girl wearing high heels at a show with hardly anybody there but a bunch of old men selling coins not trying to be sexist here but those guys <laughs> were, uh, i'll get into that um it was funny um so anyway we really scored at this show we didn't spend a heck of a lot of money uh at all for the things we got we got three commemoratives here that are all uh silver uh, silver half dollars um, and uh, two are old old ones uh, and one is a modern uh, we also got a Benji in in uh, AU condition uh, for almost spot I, you know um, maybe even melt I think it was melt actually <laughs> um, but uh, we picked up a couple standing liberties that uh, we needed for our collection uh, a 1914 Barber Dime in very good condition. Uh, two War Nickels, a 42P and a 45P. That's the 45P is gorgeous. Uh, Indian Head got some steel pennies in really nice shape over here. Um, and then check out these proofs that we got. Uh, they start here and they they go halfway across the table um, 1939 is the first one and that is just an absolutely gorgeous proof and then we got the 50 54 54d it just you know early wheats to modern proofs um, nickels as well uh, cameo decams okay on the proofs and on the nickels uh, then we have some modern decam proofs then we got a whole bunch uh i haven't even counted them it looks like about a dozen uh mercury dimes that we needed for our mercury set uh either we didn't have them or we wanted to upgrade because these were really really nice and they were going really really cheap because of the show and the combination of my beautiful wife who's a heck of a negotiator too um, we also picked up a set of gold-plated um, 2009 of all years state quarters, um, the, basically the 2009 state quarter mint set, and they're 24 karat gold-plated. Uh, we picked up a couple Zach Taylors. We picked up uh, three Buffalo nickels that we needed. We picked up this little card, which when I saw it, I couldn't believe it. I had to double check it. This is, as it says, a 70 PDNS, and they're all small date. So that's very cool. Uh, we picked up five error coins here. Uh, this one is a uh, clip planchette, and then different varieties in here. This we picked up is a Royal Canadian Mint. Um, it is a Royal Canadian Mint set with a dollar, a 50 cent piece, a quarter, a nickel, a dime, and a penny, all in BU, you know, proof condition. They're, they're like mirrors. They're absolutely gorgeous. And if I told you what we paid for this, you wouldn't believe us. And then this is the coin that in the, in the recent live stream, I was asked, well, what's your favorite find? And I said, <laughs> I already had this from Saturday. And I've been wanting to get an 1865 three cent in nice shape for quite a while. 
and I couldn't believe I got this coin um, in this condition for as little money as I paid for it, considering what I've been seeing it going for at auction. And then right next to it, same dealer, you can recognize the handwriting, was a BU condition 1950D nickel, which to the old school guys like myself, which I have to throw myself in there age-wise anyway, um, the guys in the 50s and 60s and 70s that were collecting nickels were trying to, they, they would have killed for a 50D. They were paying hundreds if not thousands of dollars for a 50D. Um, they couldn't find them. And now they're not worth, you know, near that kind of money. Uh, got this cheap. Um, and so now, I, now I've got a 50D. Um, I probably had one in the, in the binder anyway, but, you know, not in BU condition. And then the cool thing about coin shows too is the dealers do little little things like you know giving you two dollar bills for your change, giving you Kennedy half dollars for your change, that kind of stuff. But probably the most fun. I mean, we really had fun. We re we really we really do enjoy this stuff, and uh, and it was so much fun to watch my sweetie after we'd go through the coins and see what we wanted. I basically would kind of slide off to the side and let her negotiate with the dealer. Um, and she is such a good negotiator that um, I believe it was one of, one of my commemoratives um, and another silver coin, which I can't remember which one it was, but the price tag for the two that the dealer had on the showcase was $124 for two coins. And I thought, okay, we're, we're just, we're not going to get these. And she said, you know, what, you know, how can you, you know, she started negotiating with him or asked him what he could do for us or whatever. And uh, he looked at me and he said, you've already made your best deal and pointed at her. And I agreed with him and he handed, he closed his fist and he stuck his hand out and said, handed it to her and, and said, 20 bucks. <laughs> And she opened her hand, and it was two coins that were labeled $124 total that the guy charged her 20 bucks for. So uh, don't ever get in a negotiation with her. That's probably the key takeaway from this show. But the, the pointer that we want to get across to you guys is have fun. Don't go in there with the attitude of you're going to pay no matter what it is, you're going to pay the price, or that the price that's on there is what they're willing to sell it. They're usually, that's their starting point usually. They're, they're, they, they, the art of the haggle is something that still lives, especially in a coin show, just like in um, you know, a lot of situations where uh, in, in Europe and that, where people still haggle. You know, if, if you actually pay full price in some countries, you're actually insulting the people if you don't try and haggle. And coin shows, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, some dealers will say, oh, I'm sticking firm, I'm, you know, and you move on and you go find another dealer because you know there's dozens of them there um but you know and if one dealer doesn't have your coin chances are one of the other dealers will um and even if you find your coin at the first or second or third dealer and you like the price um tell them i'll be right back and and go check and see if there's any others because you might find one as good or better for as good or better price so um, that, that would probably be the key takeaways that I would give you guys on these. Um, so anyway, we, we told you we would show you what we found. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. Hopefully if you have a local coin show in your area, it'll inspire you to go. Uh, and by the way, she had a list with her of what coins we need. And that's key because if you don't know what you, what you need to add to your collection, you're just going to be buying everything that's bling and everything that looks cool, she had a list and she was checking things off, especially this list of Mercury's, she was checking things off, okay? Uh, so uh, th those are, those are, those are the, all the hints I can think of at this point to tell you guys. Um, you know, we'll probably cover a few of these things in more detail. Uh, we can't possibly cover them all now. We're already over 10 minutes on the video. So please, uh, hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys found it interesting and, and, and cool and lots of neat stuff. Um, please continue to uh, leave comments below, to like, 
share, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification button. And uh, until next time, J&B, signing off.